Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to import the climate data template and visualize the sky conditions under Design Our Skies. So I'm in Rhino 6. I'm going to open Grasshopper and I'm going to import the template file that is on the class website TMY sky conditions and then as it loads I'm going to follow the instructions that are marked in these red boxes so the first step is to set your Rhino units to meters so I'm going to go to Rhino tools options units make sure it's in meters there okay um, I also want to make sure that I have um, ladybug and honeybee running and installed correctly so this is telling me that ladybug is running correctly and this is telling me that it has found an installation of radiance that's pretty much what I'm looking for the other yellow errors are due to the um, some other uh, libraries that are not loaded but that's fine as long as you have radiance installed correctly then you're good to go and so this is left over from before I'm going to delete that so then number two go to your um, find the climate that you're looking to download and here um, we're going to go to San Francisco you can go anywhere in the world this was not working correctly during class, but it seems to be up and working now. So I can go to TMY3, that's the latest, download from DOE, and it will automatically download a zip file. And you should be able to do that for any of these climate data. Then I'm going to open the zip file and I'm going to extract it onto. Um, I'm going to extract it, sorry, uh, make sure it's extracted onto your, uh, into your um, ladybug folder here. Uh, I've extracted it right here. Um, it just need, you just need to make sure that the file path doesn't have any spaces in it. So there's the one that we're going to use, EPW. Uh, now going back to grasshopper here. I am uh, then going to set the file path for the EPW file. So I'm going to go to path, select one existing file, navigate to that C, ladybug, EPW file there. And it's going to take a second to load. Um, now I'm going to go to number four. Uh, make sure that it's imported successfully, which is Shay there. I'm going to go to number four, which you see right here. It says enable the 3D charts by right clicking on the components, select enable. So I'm going to select right click, enabled, and this is going to take a second to populate the 3D graphs on your Rhino canvas. If you zoom out here, you can start to see it. This is a graph describing cloud cover throughout the year, zero being clear, 10 being cloudy. And then I'm going to enable this graph, which is going to show global horizontal illuminance here um, that is in um, Lux. So you see very bright and very dark skies. Um, number five it says don't use the graphs that show in Rhino inside these boxes. They're extra. Um, so that's this one and this one. We can ignore those two. Go to number six here, and it says, notice the data are luminance and radiation of the selected skies. Note that zero direct radiation is completely overcast. So you see right here for November 3rd, uh, there's uh, illuminance value at one o'clock of 11,700 lux. Uh, that has a direct component of zero, which means it's completely overcast. We can visualize that by clicking on uh, eight. Um, it's going to run a quick uh, radiance simulation of the sky 
then I'm going to click on 9 and you'll be able to see that here so here's the overcast sky and here's the bright sunny sky and then if I click on 10 I should see a false color image of those skies that is keyed to a legend so you can see the um, extent of those skies in Kandawas per meter squared which is a unit of luminance or surface brightness so now I'm going to go to number 11 and it says to enable the sun path diagram and scatter plot by right clicking on the components select enable so I'm going to do that and as this goes the grass may take a few minutes to appear on the rhino canvas because this is a little bit computer intensive or processor intensive by the way the error that was in the old um, file was um, due to a component error in this component that um, I found out or figured out by going to uh, ladybug.discourse or discourse.ladybug.tools there and um, here I was able to find the um, I forget what it was a math um, domain error there and uh, followed this to um, figure out the problem uh, which was well documented here there are lots of people who reported the issue and they issued a fix to it about two weeks ago so I've now updated this and it should work correctly um, if I should note actually this just occurs to me if you're having any problems uh, and it's still not working then this uh, a solution that you should look at is to update your ladybug definitions and to do that you go to ladybug over here oops update ladybug there and you'll want to update all objects uh, set this to be uh, true uh, so plug this in set it to be true and then this will report that I'm not going to do it right now because mine are all up to date right now um, and then after you've done your, your you've done that um, you should drop this ladybug ladybug on the canvas and delete the old one uh, like that uh, this sets new definitions and um, may clear up any issues that you're having if you're still having uh, issues with that sun path component. So now we're going to go back down to uh, number 11. You should see this scatter pot plot um, here will have populated and you can see the um, all of the illuminance values throughout the year in the weather file as well as the two extreme ones that we've chosen uh, this is May 31st at 1 p.m. 104,000 uh, lux and then 3rd of May uh, 3rd of November at 1 p.m. 11,700 lux and we can also see the uh, sun path diagram here that is colored by lux level so you see uh, in the middle of the day at noon that you have brighter skies and at sunrise or sunset you have darker skies and then number 12 go to display preview settings and change to black that is located here display preview settings by default uh, grasshopper is set to red here so these um, lines will appear as red if you set them to black like so they will appear as black and then I can print a top view uh, to an image file at high resolution to do that I'm gonna go zoom out a little bit print um, going to set my window like so click OK and then it'll preview it this looks good make sure that your resolution is high uh, 600 dpi or more uh, make sure that you're printing in color make sure that it's scaled to fit and then go ahead and print that I'm going to just save this to my 
desktop and as it prints it here's a preview of that now I'd like you to take this into InDesign and compose it nicely get rid of these two black uh, graphs and annotate this to show conditions that are interesting important for your design so in particular I would draw attention to areas of uh, cloud cover areas where it's very clear skies um, times when you might have fog to think about um, I'd also think about differences in luminance throughout the year uh, key sun angles that would be helpful to understand and um, and the spread of illuminance throughout the year um, if you notice anything interesting about that so um, I'd like you to then upload that to our class folder and um, this is something that we will reference throughout the semester okay I hope this is a good overview and helpful to you and I will see you in class next week